I think for me, what I found when I was struggling and looking for support from like the self-help genre, I found that most of the advice was this really canned, commercialized, one-size-fits-all advice. And the worst part of it was that when people would give this sort of quote unquote self care advice, it was always just some extra task that I was going to need time and energy to complete. And I like the reason I was struggling is because I didn't have enough time or energy. And like when I feel, when I feel like I'm drowning and I'm overwhelmed, the last thing I need is something else on my to do list that I'm going to feel like a failure when I don't get it done. And if I, if I have one more person tell me to journal, I am going to scream. And please don't tell me that I'm going to feel better if I clean my house. The reason that it's hard for most people to clean their house is because they already feel like shit. Like that's the barrier. And so that's kind of like a nonsense piece of advice. So where do we go to get real mental health and self-care advice? Oh, God, I can't even I, I hate the term self-care. I wish there was a better term for it. Um, but like, what if what you really need is a place that promised to skip the pop psychology and the one size fits all advice and just talk about real struggles and real non-judgmental practical help? Well, that's what this podcast is. Welcome to Struggle Care. I'm Casey Davis, a therapist and author of How to Keep House While Drowning. Each week, I'm going to bring you a new episode where we talk about how to care for ourselves, even when we struggle. Sometimes I'll bring on guests that will share their expertise in long form episodes. And other times I'll take some listener questions in short Q&A episodes. So I hope you subscribe. Join us. Until next time. Take care, you sentient ball of stardust. You deserve to function.